Hello YouTube and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're doing a little bit of a tutorial for Battlefield 2042. This specific tutorial is going to focus on the tanks in the game and I shall show you the best way to grind the mastery badges. Now for those who are unaware, if you go to your profile, edit player card, you have these mastery badges here. Today we're focusing on the tank classes which are pretty simple, kills, assists and vehicles destroyed. I'm going to focus on how to grind them and how to get the mastery badges as quickly as possible. Now before we get into it, if you do enjoy these videos, why not like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps out. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, it would be very much appreciated. Although, by the looks of the trailer, no one really wants to see Battlefield 2042 videos, but whoop de doo we're here anyway. <laughs> Let's get into it, shall we? Now, the first thing you'll want to do is, before even getting into a battle, you'll want to go to Options, and you will want to go to Controller. From this page, you'll want to go to the Vehicles area over here, and then you'll want to go down to Movement, and then you'll see this area here where it says Vehicle Aim Relative Controls. Now, what this basically means is when you're driving the tank, you will be driving in the direction that the camera is facing and not the direction you are moving your analog stick. That would be if it was turned on. So what you want to do is you want to turn this off. Especially for players who play games like World of Tanks, War Thunder, Armored, War Armored Warfare and all that. It will basically give you the same controls as those types of games. So that's basically all the settings sorted out already. So now we shall go on to the vehicles themselves. We have three vehicles to look at today. We've got the T-28 for the Russians, the M1A5 for the Americans, and the personal tank being the EMK V90 Dash Tour. Now we shall look at the main battle tanks here first because they are relatively the same, and the last one we'll look at later on. Now, the first couple, short history lesson right off the bat we've got the t28 for the russians this is basically based off of a real tank known as the t14 armata it was released back in 20 well it was shown to the public in 2015 hasn't really entered service or seen combat just yet but well apparently back in its early days it had many technological issues and well, it hasn't been seen on the battlefield since. And the other one, which is the Americans, it can be based off quite a lot of vehicles depending on which gun you've selected. The star shells, for instance, look like the um, French Leclerc, whereas others look like the um, Abrams X or even their KF-51 Panther that has just been released by the Germans. Depending on which gun you use, pretty much, because it changes the gun mantlet. So, these are the two tanks we're going to focus on first of all, and they both have the exact same setup, what you're going to do is you'll go to the um, hardware equipment area and the first thing you want to do is equip HE shells or HE, high explosive. Then you want to go to secondary weapons and get the coax heavy machine gun. For equipment slot, what, slot 1 use the thermal smoke package and equipment slot to the repair system. This will be the exact same for the T28. Now, what we'll do is we'll go through each one by one. So the HE shell is fairly simple. Basically to unlock the mastery badges you need kills and assists. Now this can be with vehicles but it can also be with soldiers and as we'll get on to later, soldiers is what you're going to want to focus on. So HE shells are the best. Armour piercing rounds are good for both personnel and armoured vehicles, but it's really soldiers you want to focus on, and HE does a decent job already. Don't get the staff shell, it's useless. All it does is track targets and it doesn't even do too much damage. For secondary machine gun, it's pretty much okay if you go for light machine gun as well. But the heavy machine gun, although it has a slow rate of fire, it's able to do a lot more damage. And it can also go through enemy vehicles as well, or light vehicles, to finish off any targets for extra kills. The thermal smoke is good against any 
heat-seeking munitions such as the javelin and therefore it is the best one to pick in my opinion the smoke launchers don't really do much as the ai know how to shoot through the smoke anyway and we'll get on to the ai later on and with the equipment slot number two we've got the repair system now the ai they like to shoot at you at the exact same time so if you get ambushed quite quickly you'll want to get back into cover and use your repair system the active protection system is decent against things like the javelin but most of the AI use recoilless guns, so the protection system won't really pick those up and, well, you won't be able to activate it in time because they are quite fast projectiles. So, in my opinion, the repair system is a lot better. Moving on, we've got the weapon system. Now, I suggest going with the minigun because the heavy machine gun is pretty decent, but its slow rate of fire is quite uh, a pain, especially with... The AI. Basically you've got the driver which will be yourself, the rest of these are going to be AI controlled. So the minigun is my favourite because it's got the highest rate of fire therefore the AI can kill enemies rather quickly. Heavy machine gun is okay but like I said won't really do much with the AI using it and the anti-tank missile is pretty useless since the AI aren't really going to be firing at tanks most of the time it's going to be quite difficult to use it against any ground targets such as infantry. With the weapon pod I've got two choices either the 60mm mortar or the 40mm pod maybe the canister shot once again you're looking at shooting at infantry rather than vehicles because that's the main enemy you're going to be firing at and then the commander seat you're not really going to use much they're just already there so that is the setup that I suggest choosing. Now that is exactly the same as the T28, AG shells, coax machine gun, thermal smoke package, repair system, minigun, and either the mortar or volley pod. And the commander C is also the same. Once you've got those two tanks, what you're going to want to do is you'll want to go to breakthrough, and you'll want to go onto breakthrough solo. Now, no matter what sort of... Um, sort of map you choose you'll be put on either the russians or the americans depending on who's attacking for the american uh, m1a5 i suggest hourglass being the best because all of the enemies are grouped up together and with the russians it doesn't really matter orbital might be a good one because of how open it is whatever you do don't choose stranded because vehicles are not allowed there spearhead also might be a good one but it's all dependent on open space that's what you're going to want and now you might be thinking well these are just against the AI surely it doesn't count well it does it does count kills and assists even with the AI it will count towards your mastery badge and I suggest going on the beginner difficulty as well or otherwise you're just going to get demolished by the anti-tank rocket launchers then the last tank we have to look at is the, well, I can't even remember the name of it, it's such a ridiculous name. We've got this thing, the EMK V90 Tor. Now the problem with this tank, it looks sort of like the Israeli Merkava tanks, sort of the best one I could come up with at the moment. It's difficult to tell what this thing is based off of. But this is a vehicle killer, it's not good against infantry no matter what main gun you have on it. It's good against vehicles. Now this also includes air vehicles as well, because, well, if you are decent with this tank you can get to positions where the gun is aiming high enough to kill the enemy helicopters and even jets if you're lucky. So for the secondary weapons I again choose the coaxial heavy machine gun. Equipment slot number one, thermal smoke package. Equipment slot number two, I chose the active protection, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> repair system, choose the repair system. I may have chosen the active protection system because some of the time you'll be fighting jets and helicopters and you'll want to use that against their missiles. But the repair system is much better when fighting other vehicles and especially infantry and then you've got the threat protection system as well and for the weapon station I also choose the heavy chose the heavy machine gun again 
and the EMP field grenade, since the only one that's the only one you can choose. Now, no matter if you pick the Russians or Americans, this tank can be used on both sides, and it's a vehicle killer, so the it's going to be a lot slower to get your mastery badges, but there isn't really any way around it. Most of the time, try and use your machine gun, that's the best way to kill enemies. Best thing to do is get to a position and use the siege mode that this vehicle has, where it becomes more defensive and it has a higher rate of fire. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here and I will show you some footage of me using all three vehicles trying to take out infantry and vehicles during the breakthrough mode. So if you have enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel. If you do want more Battlefield 2042 videos, please leave, uh, leave a notification in the comments below telling me you do want to see it but again the trailer didn't get re get really get any um, feedback so I'm doubting I'm highly doubting it but apart from that thank you ever so much for watching I've been Waddy 2004 and I shall see you all next time Russia is crying foul over a technology shipment trapped in Doha, Qatar. But they're hiding something. They've deployed an entire assault force to occupy the region. Push the enemy back and secure the site. They'll try to slow you down. Don't let them. You need to secure the area sector by sector. Capture the objectives and push the Russians back. Oh! Rolled over one of them! Target is down! You may know Nordic weapons. Perhaps you have one waiting in your locker right now. Their claims of being a neutral party are false. We've discovered that they are the primary artillery provider for the American offensive. Reconnaissance has narrowed down the location of the Nordic factory to a remote Scandinavian mountain. But U.S. forces know we are coming. Dress for the cold. Once you pierce their defenses, we will move in and support you.
The U.S. plans to illegally launch a weapon at this facility in French Guiana. Russia will not allow this to happen. Work with the other task forces to take the facility. You will have every resource we can provide, but they are limited. And the Americans will try to outlast us. It cannot become a prolonged siege. Strike fast and hard. Transport is waiting. I'm looking to attack Charlie. 